Hey smokers, Drago one here, and today we're going to be installing Windows XP on an SSD. Now, what haven't we installed on an SSD? Well, a lot of things, and from the OS install list that you saw in the previous video, we still have a long, long way to go before we get every operating system imaginable installed on an SSD. Now, a fan favorite, uh, Microsoft fan favorite operating system wise is, of course, Windows XP. And that's exactly why it's become so mundane in my eyes. Just another install of Windows XP, and then now what? Well, we already have our system booted up. We've got a fresh SSD right here. Now, the idea and goal here is to create some sort of SSD Windows XP machine. To start off with, we have an AMD Athlon 64 running at 2.2 GHz. We've got 4 GB of PC2 6400 RAM, an NVIDIA GeForce 6150. You know, it seems to be about the Windows XP era range. Now, whether or not the SATA ports are 300 or 600, I have no idea, and we're going to have to find out. But uh, in the meantime, let's just go ahead and install it and worry about that later. But at least it's going to be faster than mechanical drive, unlike, you know, some piece of shit. Now, I'm sure you're all familiar with this screen. You need to create a partition on the unallocated drive, yada, yada, yada. Let's go ahead and install. Let's format it with NTFS. And we'll be right on our way. So in a moment of temporary insanity, I tried to install Windows ME on the SSD. Let's just say it didn't go very well. <laughs> what ended up happening was, once the setup copied files to the drive, it just blazed through the install. It wasn't able to restart once, but it just blazed through the install. So once the files get copied onto the drive, it's just a matter of rearranging them so it's installed correctly, or at least that's the theory. So that means that this potentially will be the fastest Windows XP installation I've ever done. Now some of the things that could be holding it back is, of course, the 2.2 GHz solo core processor, and the fact that we may actually be running on SATA 300 and not 600. So um, we're going to have to see just how long this is going to take. Um, I guess we'll wait. This is slower than I expected. Hey, not bad. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I guess. Uh, kinda? I hate this part. Implying I have a creative side. I'd like to work as little as possible in as few places as possible. Especially brand new ones. Remote desktop! It's breathtaking. Wait, didn't I already say this? Uh, oh, shit. Uh, okay. Uh... Okay. Ooh! Oh shit! You know what this means? It's the music! We gotta... We gotta turn on the music! Shit! We don't have the drivers! Fuck! Okay, so the sound drivers aren't there for the motherboard. It's probably the most exciting part of the Windows XP installation in there. Can't even listen to the best music in the world. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're all tired. Now for the crappiest part. Oh man. The most crucial elements: the sound and the video. We don't have either. Everything else works, of course, like it usually does. It even has a driver for my... For some reason it thinks the uh, SSD is scuzzy. Um, okay. However, we have Ethernet. So we can look up our own damn drivers. Do -do 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 Wait a minute. I just connected totally unprotected Windows XP to the modern internet. Alright, 
right, let's find us some drivers. Jet! Oh my god, it's, everything's huge! Yes, gimme! It's gonna take years! Fuck! Automatically detect drivers? I've never done this shit before. There's no way it's gonna work. Yeah, I didn't think so. Remember how I said this video card was an NVIDIA 6150? Well, it's totally not. It's actually an AMD card. It's a Sapphire HD 5450. What happened there? I don't know. I was just looking at a notepad document that I wrote up last time I checked out this machine, and apparently I wrote down the wrong thing. So, I'll just go ahead and download the right drivers. Jesus Christ, everything on the internet's really big now, man. That's some pretty gnarly looking heatsink. Let's see if it'll automatically detect and install the driver now. What? It's better work. And we pissed. Okay. Moment of ah, shit. Moment of truth. Yeah. What the hell's Hydrovision? Sounds cool. Let's get it. Balls, that was quick. Yes. So let's see how long it takes to do our seals reboot. We're gonna see that by our screen. Close enough. Let's call that a boot. 30 seconds, not bad. Uh, pop this shit back up again right when I'm... No! Yes! Oh, let's... Yes! We're native now. But I still don't think we have audio. So that means I'm still gonna have to go searching for the audio driver for the motherboard, which just so happens to be... M2NPVVM. Uh, what brand is it? I can't tell. Fuck it, I'll just Google it. Well, that's why I got the G4 6150. That's the integrated graphics on the board, not the dedicated. And it's Asus. Should have known, it looks exactly like the Asus one from the first Windows 98 video that I made. Product, electrical electronic equipment, mercury containing button cell battery should not be placed in municipal waste. Check lo- Uh oh. <laughs> so I shouldn't have thrown those things away? <laughs> or eaten them? <laughs> Is this still loading? What the fuck? Oh shit! With all these driver sites being so difficult today. <laughs> I can't click it. Oh, I can click. What the fuck? Sound max. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see how we're doing so far, though. Yep, audio device is the only one left. Check, check it. Now, one thing to note is that since this computer is running Windows XP 32-bit, it's not going to be able to utilize all of the RAM that's in it. In fact, I think it's only going to utilize 3.25 gigabytes. It's as good as it's going to get. Heh! Oh, there we go. Perfect. Hey! The Soundmax Audio System. I guess we're restarting. How are we doing? Where's the Windows XP autocomplete? Oh, 
Oh, I like the look of this. No yellow triangles with exclamation marks in them. We got everything here from sound to display adapters. It's all working just fine. So this is now working perf. We got all the drivers installed. Awesome. So, of course, that begs the question, now what? And this is the part I dislike the most because there's just so it's full with potential and there's so many different things I can do and any one thing I could choose to do wouldn't do it justice for what I could do with a solid state drive. Except for one motherfucking thing. So we have a Windows XP machine with a pretty decent video card and a maxed out RAM on 32-bit Windows and of course some Solid state drive, it really improves the access time. Well, what game more than any other that I can think of needs help in the access time department? Well, it just so happens that this game happens to have a five to seven minute loading time between levels. It's so bad that it's the only thing I remember about this game. Well, that and the skydiving. But really, seriously, the loading times for this game are ridiculous. So if we install this, and assuming it doesn't have to use the CD to read from after every level, then we might have a chance of cutting those loading times down. That's just a theory. Really what this is going to do is to test to make sure the video card is working, whether or not we can play this at a decent frame rate, yada yada yada. It's an XP game because where's the system requirements? It's not on here. Who cares? Let's just try it. Fanciest case so far. Now, one thing I do remember about the loading is that the, the loading screen had a CD on it. So if it's using the CD-ROM drive to load the levels, we're fucked. And this isn't going to do any good. But what better way to test the speed boost of an SSD than with this game? So let's let's give it a go. So if it's copying 780 megabytes to the SSD, that's the entire content of a CD. It wouldn't have any reason to pull any data off the CD unless it was for DRM purposes to make sure that I don't launch the game without the disk in the drive. So theoretically, we're looking at a good town. I. Play this bitch. That was fast. I'm used to waiting for loading a lot more for that to come up. 2001, holy balls. That's the same year the Windows XP came out. Here's the loading screen. The infamous loading screen. No optical drive access time. Not bad. Alright. Sometimes these loading screens can take up to, like I said, five to seven minutes. But I will say, if this takes longer than 30 seconds, it's quicker to restart the computer than to wait for the game to load. I think it was about 32 seconds from the BIOS screen. My arm's gonna get tired. <laughs> so I'm thinking that the load times for this are just have to do with bad coding because... You almost could have restarted the computer twice! So this is just legal island. And it's buttery smooth. Good lord. Graphics, fog distance, high detail on, primary resolution 1280 by 1024. 
Yep. Whoa. Yep, this plays the game perfectly. No, uh, no complaints there. But can it load? I remember the skate park used to take a long time to load. So when you're a kid and you're excited and hyped to play your new game that you just got, and you're like, oh yeah, let's go to the skate park. Hey, not bad. 20 seconds? 21 seconds? I remember having to wait at least three minutes for that. And going back to the overworld. Took about 20 seconds to get to the skate park. The overworld is probably the most complicated part of the game. So... Again, taking longer to load. So, 51 seconds. It's over 9,000! Now, one of the longest and most aggravating loading points is the house. Or at least, that's what I remember. Now, whether or not the house will let me do the skydiving minigame is, well, I don't know. We'll see, because that in particular was agonizing. Now, of course, in my childhood, I was less patient than I am today, but uh, we will see how much that changes things with the SSD. Where the fuck is my house? Uh, well, let me go inside. Now, let me just remind everyone that the interior of the house... Oh, that was fast! It was actually really quick. It's like, it's really not detailed, but actually kind of is detailed. And the funny thing is, before this actually loaded up, is I remember specifically that inside this house was higher FPS. It was way smoother in here. Now that I'm playing this, it's the opposite. This is actually lower FPS than anywhere else. So this is where the trophies are kept. That's his badass looking computer. And uh, several box sets, big box game sets of different LEGO games. That was probably about 49 seconds. It's about 50 seconds to load the overworld, which probably arguably has the most stuff in it. A lot of different things to look at. I remember it taking a lot longer. I remember having to like borderline leave and go get something to eat. I just remember just stewing in that chair, just like, oh, when is it going to load? Particularly the longest load times I remember happened to be the... Um, the brick dive, loading the other overworlds. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to play to at least the brick dive level and the jousting level to see actually how long those loading times because those in particular I remember taking a considerable amount of time. So I'm going to see how far I can play in this before I lose my mind and, uh, and then we'll conclude the video with that. Lego bunnies! Okay, so this is the part that takes a really, really long time to load. Oh god, this is uncomfortable. Not bad, not as bad as the regular overworld. But actually, that's not a bad loading time, although I will say that pretty much every other modern game in existence has a better loading time. So, uh, let's load up the brick dive level, and then finally the jousting, and we'll call it quits. And this is loading up the brick dive minigame. Holy shit! I remember that being much harder. This is the one! This is the one that takes forever! As far as I can remember, anyway. What the fuck? I remember getting so surprised by Aim Sharper Than the Dark Knight to win the Joust. Just sitting there, just waiting for something to happen, and it's like, HOLY SHIT! This screen comes up! You notice how refreshing it is to see the, this translucent Lego pattern? Jesus. This minigame sucks, I'm gonna lose, by the way. That is definitely improvement. 
All right, so there you have it. Uh, that's uh, how well the Windows XP machine performs. Uh, seems to take those what appeared to be uh, five, six, seven, eight minute load times down to under a minute. Still a little bit above average for my taste, um, but uh, I, I, I think it, we've made a little bit of an improvement. So this has been Draga One signing off, and hopefully we can install more operating systems on SSDs next week. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.